Hey y'all! It is the long delayed Q and A finish. Ah, I have to do my makeup because my teacher wanted me to uh do my makeup as if I was going to the audition. So I'm gonna be doing that, and I have my audition outfit all prepped for today, and I'll be going over the questions. So. Oh, I forgot the other thing. One moment. Oh. I like it. Okay. Question one. What smaller companies are you auditioning for? So I have a long list. Like, more than 20? One of them has got to accept me, right? Like, one of them has got to accept me. Like, one of them? Like, at least one, right? Like, I mean, I hope so, right? No? So, like, some of the smaller companies- Oh! I don't- I don't- I wouldn't say that they're smaller companies, they're just less well-known. If that makes any difference. So, like, Plan A, I plan on auditioning for them. Um... I don't know if this is worth it or not, but I'm auditioning for Blossom. They're more of an like OST company, not so much K-pop. But I was like, I mean, why not? So I figured, might as well shoot my shot while I can. Um, what other companies do I have on here? Um. I have ZB, uh, Alexa's company. Um, brand new music. Um, oh, Beat Media, Play M, A Team, uh, Swing M, Story J. There's a lot. <laughs> so, like, I plan on auditioning to all these companies, and when I make the Google Doc, I'll like nice and organized and pretty i'll put it in the link i'll share the link in the description but right now it's a little messy and unorganized but uh just note that like all of the companies that i'm auditioning for i don't necessarily like want to get into some of them like some of them i'm doing for audition purposes and some of them i'm doing for like trying to get in sorry some of them i'm trying to get in for like career purposes and other ones i'm trying to get in for like audition experience purposes and i'm gonna keep the distinction for myself private because i want you to make your own decisions about what you think of a company and what they stand for um but i just want to say like make sure you do your education because um be educated and that goes for everything not just k-pop um another thing is i'm aware that some of the companies have a lot of flaws but the thing is like the entertainment business not just k-pop is like very toxic in itself so you kind of have to pick the lesser of two evils in my opinion and as i'm getting older um you don't really get a lot of choices you know you gotta take whatever you can get so obviously i have my favorites and my least favorites but i'm gonna keep the least favorites private because y'all should do your own education i just got here in my face okay next question what companies are you auditioning for so once again there's over 20 uh but like you know the major ones like sm yg uh, Hi B, they're doing one in Santa Clara, so hopefully I can get the confirmation email for that one. Um, Pletus, WM, Rainbow, Stone, Cube, F, FNC, P Nation, uh, Wulim 
Okay. Um, what are your audition songs? Good question. I've been keeping it a secret, trying to. Um, so that I could sing in the Q and A. I'm doing three songs for vocal. I'm doing Stereotype by Stacy, Into the New World by SNSD, and I'm doing Lost Boy by Ruth B. So, the reason for doing these songs is because I like Stereotype because I'm not stereotypically like everyone's ideal type, and so I thought it was really meaningful. And same goes for Lost Boy. Um, the song means a lot to me. It helped me get through a difficult time in my life. So yeah, it. I feel like I could sing it with a lot of emotion. Na na to ara ne mosupi ye bubuji do tangdorang guji do takumanor. You hook a dead boy, get him on, Nian had him on. Segan young, Ugi go poji, my own anjong. Tadden yada in the Wario head, though, a dictator, Ungo, you should know. Now, Musege and Umyan, Simakayo, Chogum, so to the jito. Nana dicto, Segan young, Ugi go poji. Baby, Noon up as on Uriya Ka Ka Tingirin as the woman Mira Wapyog Pagoji Anna Pogi Hatsu Opsa Panty Arin Sarai Roti Kaja Sanchon Ipun Mangaji Sanchon I'm doing stereotype and wadada, and I don't think I'm gonna do a third song because potentially if they were to ask me for another song, it'd be freestyle, which I'm not very prepared to do, but your girl's gotta try. Um, so yeah, I'm listening to music right now, and they're playing Into the New World, and I'm like trying to not sing because it is the wrong key and the wrong tempo and I need to practice the correct ones. Uh, what position do I hope to get? I hope to get vocal, but I'm honestly not picky. I mean, I could pull a mundial and become a rapper, but my vocal teacher heard me rap and she was like, let's not do that. I was like, okay. 
Um, I think rapping is a lot of fun. I'm just not good at it. And my lines are really cheesy because that's just how I am as a person. I'm very cheesy. Um, I like to dance. I did color guard for six years, but it's very, very different from pop music. So I don't think, oh, I don't think I could be a main dancer. I don't mind. I just don't think it would be my good thing. Um, honestly, I would love to be a leader, but I think it'd be very difficult because like my Korean isn't the best. So being the leader might be a little weird. So I would like to be a leader, but I'm not counting on it. I would just like to be a vocalist. Um, how did you get to this position? So, I've always had a thing for music. I started piano when I was very little. Uh, I did orchestra for seven years. I did marching band for four years. I joined a jazz band. I did color guard for six years. I did winter percussion for two years. One year? I did a lot. I performed in several musicals, got paid professionally to do some of those. I like to write music in my free time, which I used to not have a lot of, but I have some now, so I need to get back to that. But I basically like, if you watch my first episode, you'll learn how like, I kind of reached the tipping point where I was like, I need to actually do this. Um, so yeah. How do you look past or did you have to look past the critical opinions of friends, families, peers? So, a lot of my friends and family were worried that I wouldn't be well taken care of because of how toxic the industry can be. And I understand that, but I'm at a point where I want to do what I want to do. Even if that means toxic industry. So yeah. Um I don't know. I feel like companies are being better than what it was before. Um it's very hot to hard hot to talk. It's hard to talk with doing lift. But uh I don't know, we have Jesse, who's really great, we have Pasha, we have Hyorin, we have Hyana, who got married, congratulations. Um, we have someone who's gay, I don't know who, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but like, whether they're accepted is questionable. I accept them. But whether they're like accepted by the public is questionable. But the fact that they exist and they're succeeding to different extents. Um I don't know. I think what was the question again? Oh, I think it's like very I'm trying to say optimistic. Not be too optimistic, but just a little bit of optimism because I don't know, like K-pop has changed a lot from when I first started listening to it um and people are looking for different things nowadays like it's not all about being Korean it's not always about being fair skin it's not always about having long hair like people are having short hair and they're like oh my goodness people look good and I'm like hmm like when Amber Liu got so much hate for having short hair and now like there's always like one or two members having short hair so, you know, things are changing, but like I said, like I'm gonna do me and I need to move forward in life. And if that's what that means, then that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> How would I describe myself with a song? Crazy, my four minute. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, this is hard. I think Lost Boy by Ruth, me Ruth B, like, really explains myself or did what time is it? Um Lost Boy by Ruth B 
that those guys are pretty pretty spot on. Uh what else is there? Dance the Night Away by Twice. I like that song. It's very like carefree, and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Uh, what other songs are there? Oh, Speechless. I think that's that's very applicable. Very like empowering. Um, how did I find my coaches? Um, so, when I was supposed to debut with a unnamed company, I, those were supposed to be my teachers. Um, I had a couple of other coaches in mind, but, um, their participants? They're coaches in a K-pop academy in Korea, and they have a lot of experience under their belt, so I decided to make them my coaches. Um, I plan on meeting up with them in Korea, so I may or may not vlog with them if they're comfortable with it. But for now, I will keep their identities a secret because I don't need to give someone publicity they did not ask for. Um, when and how did you know you're going to pursue your career as an idol? I've had some friends that got into companies or friends of a friend of friends who got into companies and uh, I don't know they like passed several auditions um, some of them were about to go to K-pop stars some of them you know they're all over the world and I just thought they were really cool I didn't really think much of it but now As I've gotten older, like I've I've always had this like idea of music in the back of my head, but I've never I've always pushed it to the side for reasons. Oh, which is a long story. <laughs> Too long for this video. But I think it's always been there, like ever since I was little. I've always loved performing. I did hula once. That was interesting to say the least. Um, growing up very conservative, having a lady tell you to shake her hips was difficult. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, singing. I've always enjoyed singing in the shower. I've always had like a huge respect for like Ailey because like. But, I don't know, I just get it, like more and more like into K-pop, you just kind of like get immersed into it and I'm like, you know, I want to be a part of that and yeah, how am I doing my time because I have to go soon. Unrelated to K-pop auditions, but people are asking me what foods to try or places to visit uh, one thing I will say is do not visit animal cafes or at least the weird ones because a lot of them are not very well kept uh, I have not been to any myself but I have read articles about like meerkats or sugar gliders or not all but some cat and dog cafes where like they don't have an area for them to be away from humans so they're like don't have any time to rest or stuff like that uh, which is kind of sad so I don't want to support something like that they're really adorable and if there was a humane and good version I would go but I'm not gonna go Oh, food. Like street foods, like Nongnaemun Market. Uh, Myeongdong has a lot of street food, but with COVID, 
I've heard mixed feelings about whether they are or they're not busy slash in business. There you go. Um, oh, this is a good song. Feel special. That's a good one. Um, oh, nobody asked this question, but I feel like it'd be a good one to answer. Why? I guess it kind of like people kind of touched on it but like why do i want to do this so badly um when i went to go watch yuruma or iruma because people don't know who your iruma is um the feels feel special <laughs> rain river flows in you and kiss the rain um that guy uh he said something at his concert which i really vibe with which is like i don't care if you like steal my music like don't buy the official sheet music. I don't care if you like illegally download it from YouTube. Like as long as the music is important to you, like that's all that's important to me. And like, I totally vibe with that message. Cause like, this is a very weird saying, but like, I want to make someone cry with my music. Like I want someone to feel vulnerable. I want, like walls to be broken when people hear my music i don't want them to be you know like i want all of their problems to be melted away there is something that music does and i that's the reason why it's my channel called the perfect key because like with every locked heart any key of music <laughs> um will unlock any broken heart and i think any locked heart or broken heart will like fix it. It's the key to solving all of your problems. And it's also very much of an international language. Like you don't need to be a certain religion to, you don't need to be a Christian to listen to Christian music. You can just enjoy the music. You don't have to believe the words. You don't have to understand Korean. Uh, just vibe with the song but like like let's say there's a song about heartbreak and you personally view it as a love song i think that's okay like sure it may not be what the artist intended it to be but if it means something to you like so be it like i don't i don't know I listen to a lot of Japanese music and I try to learn their lyrics because I think it's it's not silly but it's like fun to like try and learn like a tongue twister of like a language you don't know you don't understand but like I think where people draw the or people where I draw the line is oh my gosh talking into an eyeliner is terrifying um where I draw the line and really like try to become an ethnicity. Like you can enjoy Korean music, you can enjoy Korean culture, you can enjoy Korean food. But if you like become a Korean, that's a little weird. Like I speak Spanish, but I'm not Spanish. <laughs> so yeah. That is my goal with music. I want to touch people's hearts. I want, like, I want my song to be played at someone's wedding. Like, I want it to mean something to someone. I feel like I went a little too heavy on my makeup. It's supposed to be a natural makeup look, and then I kind of had fun, and I was like, whoops. I also don't know what to do because I really like black eyeliner, but Koreans love brown eyeliner. Sorry. I think it's okay though. I also don't ever do my brows. So now I don't know what to do. Oh, I have three minutes. Okay, I have to go because my lesson starts.
but wish me luck and i hope to guys see you guys soon this is a finished makeup look i think i did okay Bye.